All right, here we go. I'm in New Bern, North Carolina. This is artist, entrepreneur, and art educator Eric McRae. Happen to be in New Bern, North Carolina, visiting uh, Fine Art at Baxter's. They're a, a gallery that's been in uh, New Bern, North Carolina for the last seven years. And they are officially going out of business. They're shutting down, closing their doors after seven years of business. Um, and that's the nature of the beast. When you're a working artist, and you deal with commercial galleries. Some come, some go, some stay in business for a long time. Uh, take for example, Little Art Gallery. I started working with them in the 1990s. Uh, I had a job uh, working every day and I approached them and they uh, represented me for many years. And at a certain point I kind of moved on and uh, I was no longer working with them. But this year they decided to close after 50 years of business. Uh, Ruth Green originated that gallery many years ago and her daughter Roseanne took over. Uh, but I I uh, worked with them for several years, for many, many years. Now here we go, we're in New Bern and this gallery is going out of business. I've been with them probably five years. So I'm in the process of picking up my artwork, a good amount of work. Matter of fact, some large canvases, uh, works for my sushi series some coastals, uh, this massive uh, homage to Damien Hirst shark painting. Um, but here's the thing to you artists out there who want to build careers, um, it, it, distribution is, is key. You know, um, galleries on average take anywhere from 30 to 50%. You may find an arts council that may want 30 or 40%, but most commercial galleries, art dealers, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna try to get 50% and, a lot of them don't even earn that amount of money, but that's what they ask. So that's the nature of the beast. You know, it's not a, it's not ideal, but uh, sometimes that's the, you know, the, you got to play the game if you want to be in the game. So, um, but when you, you can build your business where you're selling a lot of your work uh, yourself, that's, that's best. I, uh, at one time I had 10 galleries and art dealers I worked with and I sold probably 70% of the work I I, uh, I I produced and sold um, and gallery sold 30% of what I produced and made available. So out of that 30% that sold, that revenue, hat for that went to commercial galleries to keep their doors open. So, but my other 70% of my revenue, uh, my gross revenue, I produced through uh, for selling my work directly uh, and uh, doing all the things necessary to be successful. Um, but back to distribution. So you can't be everywhere at one time. That's just a reality. And let's use uh, something that we commonly are familiar with, such as Coca-Cola. Uh, Coca-Cola is a product that's sold everywhere. You walk in a place and they say, you say, uh, I like to have a Coke. And they say, oh, we sell Pepsi products. It's because Coca-Cola has built such a, a brand and such a broad reach that their, their products in the convenience store, the grocery store, it's in the restaurant, it's in McDonald's, which is massively uh, distributed around the world, globally. Um, you will go into a, a place of, and see a vending machine and there's a Coca-Cola product. The bottom line is the, the, the product is moved through a multitude of sources and thus you as a artist, uh, you will use many ways to distribute your work, i.e. you will use the internet, you use social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, you use your own personal website, I do believe you need to have a website, um, as well you will work with galleries and art dealers and interior designers and, and uh, a friend who might be well connected who can sell paintings but they're not necessarily in the art business. It's just uh, there are many ways to distribute your work, but you know, working with galleries, I've been in, uh, doing my artwork full time for the last 20 years and been doing uh, probably a previous another 10 years before that, at least I was working with uh, uh, yeah, selling my work. So I've got 30 years of experience doing this at least and, uh, and then what's happened is that you'll see, sorry for moving the camera a lot, I'm driving while I'm, I'm making this vlog post. So you'll see this, this is live and, and living color here. But what will happen is that 
Galleries will come and go. You just have to make sure that you have longevity and you build a stern, solid foundation in your career and your reputation. And we talk about brand. Brand is really reputation. If you're ripping off people, you're making shoddy products, uh, you're a crappy person who, you know, you know, is a piece of crap artist that every time you turn around and nobody can trust you, you got a shady reputation, and you wonder why nobody buys your work or trusts you, that's because you, you damage your own brand. Brand is reputation. Um, and so if you look at some other posts, you'll see uh, people who met me when they were kids have gone off to go to art school and decide to have careers in art and come back as adults and, and buy my work because for I show them respect when they were children, when they were high school, when they were college and as adults and when they could afford my, my work, they came back and purchased my work because I built a solid brand and a solid reputation in this community and in this state and, uh, and it's paid off for me and my family. So what I say to you, um, when you get out there, find people to work with, find reasonable business partners and when they're unreasonable, stop doing business with them. You're not anybody's slave. And you know nobody's a workhorse or oxen. Get out there and make things happen. But if folks don't want to be cooperative and don't want to do good, solid business, discontinue doing business with them. Now, Fine Art and Baxter is a great place. But time, things just didn't work out for them and they're no longer uh, in business. But bottom line that you have to stay in business regardless of the galleries and the people you work with so there we go hope this helps uh this is like on this on a moment spontaneous blog post so i'm in new Bern, heading back to raleigh if you're interested in these paintings let me know follow me on instagram twitter uh youtube um I just start a new patreon page uh look for me under eric mcray on mcray studios um, and visit my website, ericmcray.com. Make sure you like everything, subscribe to everything, and share everything. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.